Hello and welcome to another tutorial. I will be go sh going over how to track uh, an object in Mocha using planar tracking and how to use that transform data in After Effects. So just create a new, new project and bring in the clip that we're going to use. And then I can just hit OK. So here's our clip. And we just see this factory building here and some camera shake. Um, but this will be a very simple task for Mocha. We'll just uh, grab our X spline tool and create a new layer with this. Just grab some of the top of this building. Okay. Now we'll just track this forward. And a few, uh, few minutes, it'll just finish tracking. All right, so uh, Mocha has finished tracking our, uh, our, our shot here. And we can see that it has done an excellent job of uh, staying with the shape that we created. Well, the shape has done an excellent job of staying with the background plate. Something like that. Uh, so, what we can do now is we can insert a clip to uh, further test how... Uh, Further test how how good the tracking is. So I've just got this picture here, and it's obviously not in the correct aspect ratio, but it will st still work just just as well. So, you may notice that Mocha, uh, Mocha's planar tracker uh, will track a lot slower than most uh, point trackers. And this is because that instead of just tracking a single point, uh, Mocha will actually sample this entire shape and uh, find uh, that shape's position and even the position and rotation of it uh, for each frame. Uh, so now what we can do is we can export the tracking data of this clip and for uh, for this tutorial, I'm just going to choose the After Effects Transform Data. And then copy the clipboard. Okay, so now let's move over to After Effects. Okay, so in After Effects, let's pull in the clips that we're going to use.
Okay, so create our composition and then bring the picture in here. And hit S to scale. Uh, now um, we need to paste in our tracking data. So we could uh, just paste this in directly, uh, but instead of doing that, uh, let's just create a null object, paste our tracking data to null, and then grab the pick whip to parent this picture to the null. Alright, now we need to uh, hit hit the stopwatch to uh, remove the tracking data uh, from the anchor point, but not with everything selected at once. Okay, that's better. Right. And we also want to set the anchor point to zero. And then under our picture, we can uh, set the anchor point of this also to zero and the position data okay so it's right in line with that null And I think that actually I messed up this tracking data. So I'll simply paste it again. Uh, set to zero. Okay, so now it's all lined up properly. And we can move this picture around to get it right where we want it to be right there okay now let's see how that looks We can go to Composition Preview. And then play this black. So uh, now our picture is tracked exactly to that building and it's working very nicely so that's it thank you for watching